Hi, I'm Vicki Kerr. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make Montreal dry garlic spare ribs. This dish is from where I was born in Montreal and I haven't been able to find it anywhere else. So I made my own recipe and today I'm sharing it with you. It's really delicious. We'll need about four and a half pounds of small spare ribs. You can have your butcher cut big spare ribs into strips so they can fit into the pot for this recipe. You'll need a small onion in quarters or six. You'll need salt and pepper. To make the sauce, we'll need one tablespoon of pure virgin olive oil, four tablespoons of fresh chopped ginger, four to five cloves of chopped garlic. We'll also need one and a half cups of filtered water, one and a half cups of packed brown sugar, five tablespoons of soy sauce, and one and a half tablespoons of dry mustard. We'll need some salt, some pepper, and a few peppercorns. So let's get started. The first thing we'll need to do is to have a big pot of boiling water with some peppercorns, salt and pepper. And when the water's boiling, we'll add our spare ribs. Then we can cover and simmer for 20 minutes until they're cooked. While the spare ribs are simmering, let's make the sauce. So now we'll saute the garlic and ginger in the olive oil in a heavy pot. We'll cook it on medium heat for four to five minutes and then we'll set it aside. In a bowl, we'll combine one and a half cups of water, our brown sugar, soy sauce, and the dry mustard. And we'll whisk the dry mustard into the sauce so that it dissolves completely. Let's add the brown sugar mixture to the sauteed ginger and garlic. So let's set the sauce aside. By now, your spare ribs should be cooked and let's remove them from the water. We'll cut them into individual pieces. Let's bring the sauce to a boil and then add the spare ribs to the sauce. We can simmer the spare ribs for 20 minutes or 30 minutes on the stove top or we can put everything in the slow cooker and set it on to low for three or four hours. It's important before you bake the ribs that they're tender. So cook them until they're tender and then transfer the ribs in the sauce into a baking dish. Bake at 400 degrees for eight to 10 minutes and baste them often. Once the ribs are baked, we'll transfer them to a serving platter. All right, when you're serving your sauce, if you think it's too thin, just bring it to a boil to thicken it up. And serve Montreal dry garlic spare ribs with roasted potatoes or whipped potatoes and cabbage salad.